sit there for a second. With 11 games left in this season, I ask you guys this. I asked the chat this as well. Are the Milwaukee Bucks, have you seen, are they ready for the postseason right now? 11 games left. Do they still need any fine tuning? Are there still things that, like, are, what are these last 11 games going to show you about this basketball team? What do you need to see from the Bucks? Um, and to, to, or, do you, like I said, or do you feel like they're ready right now? Are they ready to go, or there's still some fine tuning needs to happen uh, for the Bucks to, to be ready? I think you can see Chris maybe gel a little bit more with Giannis and Dame getting getting back into that groove. Honestly, the big thing I want to see now is what are you going to do with with with, with Derry Bird, right? Like, what are you going to do with with Derry Bird? I think he's going to be a very valuable piece off the bench, and so 100% figuring out his role, figuring out his consistency in the rotation. What role is he going to play? We talked about this, and we've said this before. Guys off the bench have to be able to contribute, right? And if you're and and, and it's Derry Bird, AJ. Uh, Andre Jackson Jr. or Marjan, right? I'm, I, it, it, Derry Bird by far, I think, is your front runner to really help you out of that group. So I would, I would, I'd like to see that. Um, and again, yeah, the, the 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 consistency, right? And I think we can, I think we certainly are getting there. I'm feeling more and more comfortable. I'm not quite ready to put my 401k on the Bucks uh, making it to the the finals at this point, but. We're getting we're getting ready. I think we're getting there. I think what we're seeing is positive. And overall, I, I think the you know the average Bucks fan is probably feeling very confident about this team right now. So I think they are ready, and I'll tell you why. I think just the efforts. Yeah, they haven't won a t whole lot of games on the road under Doc Rivers, but I think the effort has really shown that they're at least capable of staying in games when they don't have their their horses. Uh, and so you got to imagine what that looks like when everybody is healthy. When you talk about the Warriors game, when they were down 20 at half and they were able to bring it back, I know it ended up getting back out of hand, but a game like that. And then also the Boston Celtics without Giannis being able to stay in that game, stick around and being able to put a fight up. Yeah, look, I think that they're ready. And yes, I would like to see Giannis, Chris and Dame out there a little more, but I think they're at a point now to where the effort and the defensive level is so consistent to this point that, look, even though they're going to have so many games going forward, Chris, Giannis, and Dame, I think they're going to be able to adjust to one another. Chris has been very humble about the situation since day one, it seems like. So I think they'll have no problem gelling. Uh, but, yeah, you're right. Maybe A.J. Green, we'll see how he can impact the game a little more as well. But, yeah, I'm excited. I, I do think that this team is ready right now. Yeah, and I think the question when we talk about A.J. Green, this is a good point you brought up, J.T. The question we talk about A.J. Green is, yeah, he's, he's clearly front-runner. Marjan and Ajax don't have a chance to play. The question is, how much time is he going to get? Like, what? how much time can he impede from Pat Connaughton and – Pat? Well, the, Jay Crowder the, the, that, at this that level guard now. group, right, of Pat Connaughton, Jay Crowder, Malik Beasley. Those are the guys he's really competing for minutes and time with. Um, I, I, I'm hoping, obviously, that he's going to have that time over. Like, I, I don't think Gallinari should be in, in the equation at all. Um, but, yeah, that, that's going to be the question is where does he fall? Of course, tonight, A.J. Green was out with a um, – he had a, they called it an illness, so he didn't play. Um, but, again, I was all set for, like, this this epic battle between the Bucks and the Thunder, and the Bucks absolutely dominated. Uh, so it was, it, was, it was very good to see. Let's go to the Twitter.